Americans are on the move this Memorial Day weekend, throwing aside pandemic restrictions to get a head start on summer. Airports are especially busy. The TSA has screened at least five and a half million people since Thursday. You can expect big crowds today at many popular destinations, a drastic change from one year ago. Lilia Luciano is at LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. Good morning, Lilia. Good morning to you, Michelle. Many Americans are eager to break free from COVID confinement. And Memorial Day is proof of that, with airports like this one seeing record numbers of flyers compared to last year. Singing, don't worry about this busy boardwalk in San Diego, just one of the popular tourist destinations welcoming back crowds this Memorial Day weekend. The past couple days have been crazy. Sarah Blair, a manager at Hollywood Burger in Los Angeles, says the increase in visitors is a welcome sign of a busy summer ahead. What has business been like these days? Um, super exciting, actually. More than 37 million people plan to travel 50 miles or more this weekend, according to AAA, up 60% from last year. <laughs> at the nation's airports, long overdue reunions. It's been over a year since we've seen them. Many families, like the Hayes, who are visiting grandparents in Arizona, flew for the first time in over a year. There are signs of recovery across the country. The largest sporting event since the pandemic began at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where 135,000 fans watched racer Elio Castroneves' Indy 500 win. And while rain kept many inside along the East Coast, there were crowds at Boston's famed Fenway Park and the streets of D.C., as well as on beaches and water parks. Real relief and celebration to be able to be outside again and feel safe. The travel rush comes as COVID cases declined to the lowest number of new cases in more than a year. This is over half of Americans are now partially vaccinated. It's actually getting better. We see light at the end of the tunnel, so it's quite refreshing.